when wait for few minutes george sir will be coming and he will definitely give you a job as you and your brother was sitting on the chair suddenly a middle aged man who is in his late 40s entered inside oh aaron as you told you bought her here that's good give his amount as his bodyguard gave the amount to aaron aaron was counting the money don't worry aaron the money which i gave you is correct okay then i am leaving as he got up from the chair Aaron, where are you going? As you hold his hand, I am waiting for you outside. But what money he gave you? It's the amount which I asked him because I need to pay our rent. Don't worry, I'll be standing out. You give the interview and come out soon. As he removed your hand from him and went away. Wayne, you look even more beautiful in real than the photo which Aaron showed me. As he kept his hand on your shoulder. You felt something is wrong going on, so you got up and was about to go, but George pulled you and pinned you to the wall tightly. Where are you running, Wayne? He touched your cheeks. Leave me, let me go, please. As you begged him to leave you. I didn't bought you to let you go. He was smiling at you. Aaron Aaron you were calling your brother's name loudly Your brother went away after selling you to me you couldn't believe your brother sold you for money to a person now i can do anything with you George was about to kiss you forcefully Suddenly some bodyguards entered inside and hold George by his shoulder and kill George bodyguard. He got scared and went and hide near the curtains and saw a guy wearing a black coat coming inside with a gun. I know George you are the one who sent your bodyguard to kill me. They had to betray me. He shot him twice on his head, and George died. Throw him somewhere that no one could find him. As he was about to go, but heard some noise near the curtain and thought maybe George's bodyguard is hiding there. Thought to escape from my side as he pulled the curtain and pointed a gun towards you. Chunk of point of view. When I saw it, she was a girl who looked so innocent and scared by her face. Take her to my mansion, he said to his bodyguard and went away. His bodyguards took you with them to Jungkook's mansion. After a few minutes, sir. Please leave me let me go as you begged him Can I know who are you to that George he said in loud voice Actually my brother sold me to George for money So your brother sold you how can he do this to you he is my step brother Now George thinks belongs to me then even you belongs to me take her to the room he said to his mate mate took you with her to the room you changed your dress and was sitting while crying i love my brother aaron more than myself 
but he just sold me for money Janko came inside I don't like people crying he pin you to the wall these days no one do anything for free so from now onwards I'll I'll pay your money on time he was smiling at you after 2 days you were taking your shower suddenly Janko came inside I'm sorry I didn't know you were inside as he turned to his back side You covered yourself with towel. Can't you lock the door? Actually, the lock is so tight. If you close it, it will be difficult to open. So that's why. Okay, once again, I'm really sorry. He went away. You have continued taking your shower. later that evening you saw jungkook coming inside and saw the wound on his hand jungkook you got wound in your hand as you made him to sit on the cushion it's nothing while coming back i got hurt as he got up no jungkook if you leave this wound like this you will get infection you made him sit and bought a first aid box and was treating us owned jungkook point of view no one did this to me but she cares for me so much he was looking at you while you were treating us owned as days passed by you both started to have feelings for each other and it killed around for you you both were seeing a movie suddenly a romantic scene came so you off the tv Why in? Why did you off the TV? It's just I don't like it. Okay, so you don't like that. Will you like if we both do it? He smiled and kissed you. You guys can imagine what happened next. Next day morning Jungkook went to abroad because of work purpose and you were feeling so alone you talk with him in your phone and video call but you really miss his presence After a few days you were feeling sick from past 3 days you thought to get yourself checked to the doctor and you came back from the hospital and you were happy to know you were pregnant you thought to tell jungkook about your pregnancy as you came inside his room you heard a girl voice when you slightly opened the door you saw him with a girl on a bed Jungkook I was waiting for this moment with you as she kissed him Your heart broke after seeing Jungkook with a girl you just left the house without saying a word Daisy point of view Jungkook you thought to convince your feelings to Wyan But before that I broke the heart I came with you here and had a sleeping pills on your drink Jungkook you're only mine she's smiling while looking at Jungkook Jungkook couldn't find you after that day he searched for you everywhere and he became so depressed after you left him After a few months Daisy and Jungkook came for shopping he think Daisy as his friend who was there with him after you left him
After your checkup, you thought to buy something to eat and go home as you bought a sandwich and a veg roll for yourself and gave the amount. I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't have change. I too don't have change. You look here and there and saw the guy standing, so you thought to ask him. Excuse me, do you have change? I need to pay the shopkeeper as he turned to your side and you were shocked to see him. He's none other than Jungkook. Jungkook saw you with a baby bump. Why and why did you leave me and go? It's because you were busy with your new girlfriend, so I thought not to interfere in your life. Girlfriend? I didn't love anyone except you. Daisy saw you talking with Jungkook. Jungkook, come let's go buy dress for our wedding. What nonsense are you talking, Daisy? Oh, this is your new girlfriend, right? Yeah, so what? As she pushed you and Jungkook called you by a brisk and he gave a tight slap on her face. Try to hurt my YN? That's it for you. Jungkook, you're caring for a girl who left you few months ago? Shut up. I didn't left him wantonly. I saw him with you in a bed that day. Daisy, I thought you did this to separate me from Wyan. Tell me the truth. Yes, Jungkook, I loved you and I can't see you with this Wyan. That's why I did this. I'm sorry. Don't think I'll forgive you. I taught you as my best friend but you did this cheap things to separate me from my Wyan. Get lost from my side, he said in loud voice. Daisy went away. Why and so this baby is... It's our baby, Jungkook. Come, let's go to our home. I am really sorry, Jungkook, for mistaking you. That day I came to tell you about my pregnancy. But saw you with Daisy, so I left you. Okay, let's forget about the past. Let's go. He paid the amount to the shopkeeper and you both went away. After two weeks, you both got married to each other. Wedding night. Why and come let's do it tonight he was smiling at you Jungkook can't you see i'm pregnant i'm sorry then let's cuddle as you and jungkook was cuddling with each other Why and I'm really sorry for not being with you these few months during your pregnancy but from now onwards I'll take care of you and our baby very well it's my promise he kissed your belly and you were happy that finally you and Jungkook are happily married